Good morning, Pokefans. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we're going to continue our seasonal rank climb using a team that we built from scratch. As we say goodbye to Groudon, we're going to say hello to Kyogre, and that team is looking kind of spicy. But at the same time, I don't really know how it's going to turn out. On paper, it sounds good, but not everything looks great on paper. So we're going to try it out firsthand and see what we can do to maybe win with a, uh, a very interesting set for uh, Kyogre. So I don't really have anything besides that. So before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let's get into our matches, shall we? Okay. Ooh, Giratina, let's go. So Giratina, Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Rillaboom, uh, Urshifu, and Glamora. My apologies. Just, uh, adjusting my mic here. Okay. So like I said in yesterday's video, we're probably going to be running with like the same archetype-ish of people. We do have a uh, Raging Bolt on the team, Chi Yu, Urshifu, Kyogre, and Roaring Moon, as well as the Tornadus from the previous uh, team. Tornadus is obviously well known. The rest of them are not well known to you guys. And I'll be posting the EVs later on down the road. Still work in progress. Like I said, paper look, looks great, but may not actually practice great. So because of Giratina, we do have to worry about a couple of things here, but I think I want to just start off with uh, doing the fun thing first, because I think it would be kind of funny. Um, let's go ahead and bring out Tornadus and Kyogre. Uh, they do have a couple of Pokemon that I do have to worry about. Um, so we'll bring out Roaring Moon as well. And I kind of want to bring in Urshifu. Might be good to have. Now my Urshifu is really weird. It's a uh, choice banded, but has protect on because I want to have, because knockoff, right? Knockoff is a thing. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Urshifu. Uh, knockoff is a thing. So I'm, I'm assuming that sometime if I switch in in a bad spot where they're going to no uh, do knockoff or just live an attack and then knock off whatever the attack or like um the band anyway i can still use protect after the fact because i'm not i don't plan for having four attacks i plan for having three really good attacks and then protect after the fact that it gets knocked off all right so we have tornadus and kyogre versus grim snarl and uh rillaboom now this is gonna be really really interesting i'm gonna protect on kyogre first because the fake out's gonna go over, over to that slot and then we just kind of have to decide whether or not that we're going to deal with Grimmsnarl now or later. Uh, we're going to go on Bleakwind Storm. This is not like he can't do anything on my end to really prevent uh, Tornadus to do anything. Now, I always... Here's the other thing. I want to put specs on Tornadus so bad. I might actually do that for next video, but I just kind of want to see how it goes. A uh, fake out goes into the Kyogre, because, you know, why not? Uh, and Thunder Wave goes also over to the Kyogre, which that was, that one's weird. Maybe they were assuming I was going to Terra, but I'm not going to. Bleak Windstorm makes it 100% automatically, and then they can't stop me. So that's dope. Uh, it does heal up from the Grassy Surge, though. And Grimmsnarl does get a drop. So we'll go with that again. Now we are Terra Steel because we want to resist a lot of the stuff that could happen. Um, we're not going to Bleak Wind Storm. I'm going to Tailwind so that I outspeed. I'm probably going to get hit with uh, Grassy Glide. So I'm going to just go right into Ice Beam. Sign up for the people in the back. Underway. So now my speed is back to normal. At least on Kyogre. Didn't move because it's paralyzed. Yay. A wood hammer. Oh, it's unfortunate, but he does get the KO. And okay, the terror there would have been the best. That is totally fine. The recoil, though, is a lot. That stands uh, to be the thing. Now, um, we could bring in Roaring Moon. And now we can start applying a lot of pressure with, uh, with what we've got here. Because now Booster Energy is going to activate. And we're going to not go to Terra for Roaring Moon. Instead, what I'm going to Terra is Tornadus, do the Bleak Wind. And I'm going to Acrobatics. 
into the Grimmsnarl slot. Because I'm going to need to be able to knock it out. I think I've got Rillaboom down, so I don't have to worry about that. They're going to swap, though. It's a good call on their part. But now I have Void. Oh, Flamora. Hello. Uh, we're going to avoid everything that Grimmsnarl can do. So now Thunder Wave is not going to affect either one of my Pokemon. As a matter of fact, uh, Grimmsnarl is going to be kind of useless for the most part as a prankster it reflects okay well what's it gonna do with bleak wind storm acrobatics Here comes the bleak wind storm which is 100 percent does not take down the grimmsnarl but does get really really close drops the speed of glamora though and grimmsnarl one more time let's go let's go Okay, so we'll continue with the Bleak Bone Storms. And I'm going to knock off Lamora's item. Probably going to be the Power Herb, so the Meteor Beam that could come out of that slot isn't going to do anything. Light screen. Set up the screens, okay. Knock off. There's the... Uh, well, there's the Debris, obviously. I can't do anything about that now, but... There's the power herb. That's what I was hoping for. Bleak when Storm comes out. Takes down the Grim Snarl, but it does a third of the damage. Or two thirds of the damage over to the, the Glamora. Now, it's not very effective, but. Oh no, Moral Spin. Uh, okay. Let's me on a timer. It's essentially what it does. It just puts me on a timer. But Tornadus doesn't get or uh, poison because secondary effects. That's the cool thing. Hurt by poison. Now, if I swap, it's going to be poison, or like my next Pokemon is going to get poison too. So we're going to try not to do that, if at all possible. What is your someone the unrivaled? That's Rillaboom. Huh? Not Tailwind. I do outspeed still. Tailwind got. Has one more turn. Uh, Bleak One Storm, and I'm gonna go ahead and protect because Fake Out's gonna come out. And I don't really have to worry about it too much. Fight the shields. Same as Protect. Grassy Glide over the Tornado is not very effective. Here comes the Bleak One Storm, misses the uh, Glamora, but it is gonna hit that. Rillaboom for super effective damage. The rain stops, and now we don't have 100% Bleak Wind Storms. And I get healed a little bit due to the poison, or due to the grassy field. Poison kicks in on the Roaring Moons. Not, I mean, 148 from 170. That's 22 points. Shouldn't be too bad. It's a uh, 3v2 now. I'm the three, them the two. Oh, shiny Giratina. As it exerts the pressure. That's so dope looking. Um, let's protect, that way we don't have to deal with uh, whatever this is probably gonna do. And let's go ahead and knock off uh, Giratina. Terra comes up, so it's probably gonna change it on Giratina. They wouldn't want to do it on Gumora. So it's going to go from a ghost type to a fairy type. So knockoff isn't going to be as effective. However, it's still going to hurt. And this is not... Giratina has two forms. There's the feet form, which is what it's on now. And then there's the flying form. I don't know which one is which. Knockoff on the Giratina. Knocks off its leftovers. Dragon Pulse goes right into Roy Moon. Let's knock at the KO. Gets really, really close though. Sludge Bomb goes over to the Tornadus. That's dope. We avoid that. Poison, though, is prob... Oof. Almost. Almost. Okay, they still have one turn of Reflect, two turns of Light Screen, but those are probably not accurate. Activate Tailwind so that I outspeed. And because we're almost out of here... Um... 
Which one is the best? Which one would be the best? Let's activate Tailwind. Protect? I probably activated it twice, didn't I? Oh, they go for the double. Okay. Not a bad call. I did activate it twice. God dang it. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I won't do that. No, that's exactly what I did. I forgot. I should have went back and uh, confirmed it, but that's okay. I say protect, which is obviously a really, really good choice. Super good choice. All right. Let's bring out Urshifu. Becomes poisoned. Do rain dance, and I'm gonna go straight into Giratina. I can stand whatever Glamora is going to do. I just need to get Giratina off the field first. Let's do the rain dance. Tailwind's already up. I outspeed. So here comes the certain strikes. There's one. There's two. It's not gonna get the KO. It gets really, really close though. Three. So reflect really, really helped there. Hex. Gonna do double damage. Not enough to get the KO. Sludge Bomb. That is gonna get the KO. Now, will I live? Probably not. To be honest with you, I will probably not. So this is gonna be a loss, but only because of the fact that I have to make a, a really, really terrible choice. Uh, we're gonna go after the Glamora though. That should have been my first target because then that could have been knocked out, would have saved Tornadus from being knocked out and it would have been uh, Giratina versus Tornadus. But at the same time, I don't think it would have mattered because they have a uh, light screen up and I don't have that taken off. So Hex is unfortunately going to be our downfall. Not bad though. I don't have anything calc for Giratina and he's not really used that often. I'm so glad that people are using him though, but I kind of want to know what he does in that form and what the other form is called. So that's dope. Okay, so we got Terrapagos, Fluttermane, Clefairy, Chiyu, Urshifu, and Tornadus. So in our in this particular matchup, what am I going to do? It might be best to bring in Raging Bolt, though he doesn't have really anything that's going to take advantage of anything particularly fun but we can go with tornadus chi yu urshifu and we'll bring in kyogre now we're going to bring this four in because i want to bring in chi yu so that we can take advantage of his special ability now his special ability drops uh, special defenses by 25 percent so if you're trying to calc anything beads of ruin um would be uh, like you go to your pokemon and then type 0.75 or 0.25 to get like the calcs that you want you can use any calculator to get the same result that's what i'm trying to say anyways um <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do tailwind and i'm gonna get started off with dark pulse Actually, I think he's going to go into that. So I'm going to bring out Kyogre instead. Because then I'm going to blast all of those attacks. And with Tailwind going up, I'll be able to do it just like a little bit less. So Surgeon Strikes isn't going to do anything. And I think this uh, Urshifu might be Scarfed. Tailwind, I may have won the, the coin toss there. They, all, they also activate Tailwind, so that's dope. Oh, close combat. Into the Kyogre, but still a lot of damage. Absolutely a lot of damage. Gonna recover due to leftovers. So the mine's not a attacking set, it's more of like a defensive set. We'll see how everything turns out. Um, I don't know what this what this Urshifu is. Not good to swap. 
Probably not good to protect either. This is a good question. I don't know what to do. We s we're tied on speed ties. Let's swap to uh, Urshifu. I don't want to lose Kyogre right now. So I'm going to reveal all four. Lose combat. We yeah. It's scarfed. It has to be. Drops the defenses, so Bleak Wind Storm's 100%, which it is definitely going to knock out that Urshifu. Uh, if they did Bleak Wind Storm, they knock out my Urshifu, which is not a bad trade. It's not something I would really like. Yep, and it's 100%, so my Urshifu goes down. But again, it's not necessarily a bad trade. It's not one that I would have really liked, but I can't do anything about it, which is unfortunate. But now we can bring out Chi Yu and possibly take advantage of what we were trying to do. The only other option I could have done there was to maybe Terra and guess like that um, move was going to be used. So. Uh, okay, Protosynthesis activates. Speed was heightened. Which means I no longer outspeed. I'm going to protect. I kind of want It's the best option here. They got two more turns of Tailwind. Just like me. They haven't terrored anybody. I'm terrored dark? Oh, wow. I thought it was ghost. I'm glad I didn't. That would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been absolutely uh, terrible. I thought I was ghost, not dark. I mean, let's go. Terror dark. Uh, Chi Yu. Oh no. Dazzling Gleam's still gonna do like a ton of damage. Well, that's not great. That's not great. That should have been, um, ghost, but that's okay. In my head, I had changed it to something else, so obviously that's what it is. We're gonna protect on Tornadus. Um, uh, Moonblast. Yeah. Oh, I live! Let's go! Okay. Special attack drop on stage. Okay. Here, have a Terra Dark Dark Pulse. Bop. That does not KO? Nuh-uh. Like me living was a was a sign, but even like I'm I got minus one in special attack, but I dropped special defense like one stage. Now the percentage is way off. Dropping so much better. I think the if I didn't get the minus one, it would have been it would have worked in my favor. Oh, there's nothing I could do about it, so I'm gonna. Got icy wind. Takes down the Chiyu. Barely doesn't take down the tornadoes. But we're almost out of here. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I can take this one. Leak wind storm. Terra shell activates on the trop uh, tropicos. Still don't take down the flutter main. Are you serious? Tornadoes didn't get any. Minus it. Does that one have like way more special defense? There, Tailwind's gone. Bring out Kyogre. I don't think it really matters now. What? Well, Calm Mind, why not? I don't outspeed. I don't know if I'm gonna live a uh, Fluttermane in Kyogre. Nope, Terra. Tropicos. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're, we're good to call this loss. Right, form. Nice wind. 
That's weird. I dropped my speed one stage, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, Terra Star Storm is going to still knock me out, I think. That looks so cool. It kind of reminds me of that move in uh, Super Mario RPG. I don't remember whose it was, but it looks so cool. Anyway, yeah, like I said, that was a that was a loss. So bringing in Chiyu was not a good option. I should have just let him get KO'd right off the bat instead of switching, uh, swipping, swapping in to kind of deal with the hits. So that was definitely my mistake. We're gonna take this moving forward. Let's go. Yeah, we have Zamazenta, Urshifu, Amoongus. Rillaboom, Ursh, uh, Incineroar, wow, and Fluttermane. So we're kind of seeing like the same characters come up quite a bit. We have Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Fluttermane. And then the last two just kind of seem to, to spring in there. Probably like more balancey types, but we'll, we'll get through it as we need to. As for this group though, what do I have that's going to be able to melt whatever they've got on their end? Chi is useless here, unfortunately. Um, maybe start off with Urshifu Kyogre? No, not having anyone that's a ghost type is definitely kind of biting me in the butt right now. Because I can't avoid fake out, nor can I stop um, priority attacks. So this is interesting. We're bringing Tornadus, Roaring Moon, Kyogre, and Raging Bolt. That way we can kind of stand on our, on our own two feet for a minute. We're, our rank's taking a little bit of a beating, but that's totally fine. Uh, Groudon's team took a lot of beatings. As a matter of fact, that's the reason why we're a, a, like a lot. <laughs> but that's what a lot of these tests are for, so that we can go from paper to practice. And that's why we have stuff like this. We need to be able to do things in a cohesive manner. So, yeah. So we have Rillaboom and Zamazenta versus Tornadus and Roaring Moon. We're going to go ahead and get activated with Tailwind. I'm going to get Terra. Um, yes, I'm going to, no, I'm going to protect tech. Protecting first is going to be the best call. I don't want to give away. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't want to give away that I have uh, acrobatics, but everyone that knows or has played Roaring Moon will most likely have the acrobatics set. You could do Dragon Dance, but it takes a little bit more to, to set up. Um, no fake outs, which is what I was trying to prevent. Uh, U-turn goes off of both, both of them were after Roaring Moon. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Let's hit the bleak wind storm and now this. I wonder does knock off knock off the shield. That's a good question. I don't know. We're gonna knock off and we're gonna hit the Rillaboom first. We are gonna Terra. We're gonna become flying so that we don't get hit a lot by body press. Which kinda sucks because I would have loved to negate whatever. Uh, grasses and we can still negate it a little bit with terra flying but knock off to knock off the assault vest i hope it is so now here comes the bleak wind storm which is not gonna miss and that's full 100 percent damage on that really it's not gonna do a whole lot to zamazenta but i kind of want to know iron Ooh, this is the iron defense set okay and the stockholm regional there was players that used both Iron defense and then one that used wide guard. The one that used wide guard didn't have um, iron defense because they felt that they can still get KOs with what they had. So, Timonate comes out, which hits Warren Moon, which is not great. Uh, but we should be fine still. We'll activate Rain Dance. And I'm going to protect so that I don't get hit with Fake Out. I don't really care if it hits Tornadus. Now, see, that's what we want to prevent. Rain Dance, and now we have 100% Bleak Wind Storms. That's a plus four. Plus five, actually. Oof. Is there, is there a way that I can, like, stop that out of the room real quick? Just. Just real quick. Um, I 
I think we're just gonna have to wait. I outspeed, which is great. How long do I outspeed? One more turn. Um, knock off. I don't think I'll be able to knock off a shield, so we'll knock off whatever Incineroar has on him. Probably a berry. Safety goggles, okay. We've done storms, now they're at 100%. Speed drop on the Zamazenta and the Incineroar. Let's go. Body press on the Tornadoes. That is enough to get the KO. Parting shot. Gonna go over to the Roaring Moon, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, I don't really have to worry about it. Right now, Roaring Moon is not the main attacker, so I don't have to worry about it as much. Could swap them out to do something a little bit different. Here comes oh, here comes Splinterman. Okay, good. Uh, Photosynthesis activates due to the booster energy, and speed was heightened. Okay, with that being said, what do I have in the back to be able to do anything? I mean, this would be great. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring out Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt. Let's do Thunderclap. And I'm gonna activate Tailwind. Gonna clap on the Fluttermane. Hits. It's not gonna do as much damage, but that's totally fine. Icy Wind comes in. It is gonna be really, really hurting on the Roaring Moon. Especially after a crit. Drops our speed by one stage. Tailwind. Here comes Body Press. Oh, and so the Raging Bolt is 100% gonna knock him out. Uh, plus five, it's kinda hard. Alright, that disappears. I have Tailwind up. Bring out Kyogre. Wayne's gonna be up for two more turns. Let's do Water Spout. And... Hmm. Let's hit Zamazenta. Terra's gonna come out. Probably gonna go to the Fluttermane. Oh, Zama, okay. Terra Water, okay. I don't know if water resists itself. It might. No, I think it does. Moon Blast, Robert to the Roaring Moon. Does not get the KO though. Water Spout. Down goes the Fluttermane, get him out of here. Don't have to worry about that anymore. And what about Acrobatics? This is a Terra Flying. Uh, yeah, no, he's plus five. Plus I'm like, Missing digits. Okay. That is a loss, ladies and gents. Absolutely a loss. I can't do anything about it. Um, Roaring Moon is a lot. <laughs> um, we are out. Fake Out's gonna do stuff, and then obviously there's stuff that they can do at the end. Um, the Terror of the Water was what made that strategy hinder considerably. I was also hoping that I would do like a ton more damage. Like I said, like my Kyogre is not meant to be like an attacker, I think. Supposed to be a little bit more bulky. Let me read his stats real quick. Have them written down still. All right. So. From what I've got, Broud or Kyogre has 196 in HP, 4 in defense, 196 in special attack, 4 in special defense, and 108 speed with Timid Terra Steel. So, 
we have them that way so that we can withstand uh, some attacks and we can also withstand stuff from uh, Raging Bolt. That was who he was partnered with. And we have those stats because we wanted to be able to use uh, similar methods like Calm Mind. Because you know, Raging Bolt has like a lot of bulk around. So cal like a couple of Calm Minds to be able to survive was like the inspiration, but we we'll might have to re-examine Kyogre. Okay, so we have Sylveon, Muck, Alolan, uh, Raikou, Garganacle, Grim er, Grimmsnarl, and Latias. What is the plan here? What ability is Power of Alchemy going to steal? Is it Prankster? I mean, that would make a lot of sense, but I don't think that's going to be the case though, right? Uh, we don't really have anyone to worry about speed wise. I mean, Latias can do Tailwind, but we're going to open up with Kyogre, Urshifu. Uh, we'll bring in Ornatus after, and we'll also use Roaring Moon. We'll leave Chiyu and Raging Bolt in the back. I kind of wish that we got a little bit more use out of Raging Bolt last turn, but I understand plus five body presses is incredibly hard. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I had a plus five or even a plus six Chalodon and he wasn't getting 100 like, percent KOs. So there might be something else that I'm missing that I don't fully understand as of right now. Kyogre is going to activate Drizzle, but we do have a Grimmsnarl and Raikou on that side. Um, let's go ahead and Calm Mind the Kyogre. And I'm going to Terra Water Surgeon Strikes right into Raikou. So they can get all of this damage completely taken off. Or at least what Raikou can do completely taken off. I don't know what he does. Uh, I know Entei. Um, and I kind of know Sweep, and I have no idea what Raikou does. It could be like the underdog and know a lot of different things. Thunder Wave over to the Kyogre, which is interesting. Could have done it over to uh, Urshifu if you ask me. Uh, certain Strikes in the rain. Choice ban. Oh, yeah. no. Yep. I am banded. Three crits doubled and I get a boost 1.5. I'm going to palm mine here, so now I get a plus one in special attack and defense. And defense. So what's your next? Muck. It is the prankster. That's the one that you want, huh? Let's go ahead and use water spout. Surging strikes. I'm going to go straight from the muck, because here comes the thunder wave. Hits. Lowers my speed for Urshifu by half. Fine with me. Surgeon Strikes. It's going to hit this muck. In the rain. Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, yeah. Bop. No Minimize. No Power of Alchemy. None of that. Muck fainted. Kyogre couldn't move because it was paralyzed, but that's okay. What is your fourth? It is Latias. Okay. Why not do that? And I'm just gonna go right into Grimmsnarl. Why not reflect? You should have done that two turns ago, to be honest. All mine on the Latias. Interesting. To be fair, uh, in you should have done Reflect two turns ago. Like, yeah, Thunder Wave is really, really great. Don't get me wrong. Um, it doesn't matter if the Paralyzed thing, I mean, you, you lower my speed by half, but not getting hit for a lot is uh, noticeable too. My ogre is such a... He's having such a hard time over there. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> let's, let's call mine one more time. And it's just going to go straight into this Latios. Sword power into Urshifu. It's a lot of damage for sword power. 
One. Two. Is this enough? Just barely. Hey. First win of the video. Let's go. First win. I don't know how I feel about that just yet. I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I am happy. Um, but I don't know if this was a team that was specifically built to counter anything. I don't, I don't really know what the mechanics of that team was supposed to be, but it's interesting nonetheless. Okay. Zamazenta, Rillaboom, uh, Moltres, this is a Galar form, Chien Pao, Pelipper, and Latios. This is very reminiscent of the team that played in Stockholm. This might be, I think his name is Michel? from Germany. I'm going to butcher his name and I apologize. I don't really mean to butcher your name, but this might be his team. I don't know. And that happens all the time when uh, when regionals finish up. People use the, the team that won quite a bit on the ladder, try it out themselves. It's a good way to counter it. Like if you know what the weaknesses are, you definitely know what the how to play around it. So it does have quite a bit of answers. Um, Tornadus, Warren Moon, Kyogre, or Shifu. I don't think um, Raging Bolt or Chi is going to be useful here. I don't really have to worry about anyone changing the weather, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to have an easier time. I know having Chi Yu on the team that is a Scarp is a very interesting choice. Zamazenta and Chi and Pao. It's a shiny. Shiny Zamazenta. I don't think I can knock off the item, right? For that, for that Pokemon, I don't think I can do that. Okay, so there's two ways that we can deal with Chien Pao. Let's go ahead and get Tailwind started off. Terra. Acrobatics. Into Jim uh, Pal. Either way, I'm looking at a very, very huge deficit in regards to either one of my Pokemon, because Chin Pal's on the field. Chin Pal can knock out either Tornadus or Roaring Moon. Doesn't really matter what it is. The only hope that I have is that I somehow knock out Chien Pao, which is very unlikely because it will have Okasash. Like, I'm one of the weird ones that use Life Orb or anything else. But I will most likely have Icicle Crash, and I'm hoping it goes after Tornadus and not Roaring Moon. Acrobatics, here comes the Chien Pao. There's the Sash. Nope, goes right over to the Roaring Moon. Super effective. Like, either one. Terra, non-Terra, doesn't really matter. The only way I could probably survive that is to protect and maybe get, hopefully get set up with, like, the, the following turn. A Body Press with only the plus one goes into to uh, Tornadus, which it didn't. I mean, it's still a lot, but it shouldn't get the KO. So now we're going to bring out Kyogre. Activate the drizzle. Swap. Actually, we're not gonna swap. We're gonna protect and I'm gonna water spout. Because we're expecting a Terra to come out from Zamazenta to maybe change it to grass or water. Water seems to be the highest one. Because they got rid of the person I usually use to take down Zamazenta, but. Um, can't use it now, so that's a thing. It wouldn't be wa uh, fire. I mean, you could use fire, but body press isn't really affected by attack stat, so burn doesn't really do anything. It's all equated to defense. The so protect goes off. White guard. So that's going to stop water spout. Sucker Punch is going to fail. And Water Spout. 
Now that the Zamazenta isn't going to have um, iron defense. I can already tell. So I'm going to swap to Urshifu. And I'm going to Ice Beam Chien Pao. They're probably going to think that I'm on, that I'm going to swap, but they don't know who I have in the back. I don't really have anyone that's terribly weak against ice anymore. I mean, Tornadus is right there, but he's not going to be super effective against it. I can't use my, I can't use my Terra anyway, because I already used it. I should have saved my, my Terra target. That was my fault. Urshifu comes out. Wide guard to prevent the water spout. Not. Um, Sucker Punch is going to fail because it's not. Uh, here comes Ice Beam. Here, have one of those. Hold that for me. Hold that. Okay, so Zamazenta is very fighting. So unless it Terra's, I should be able to knock it out pretty easily. But we'll see. It will probably still continue to use the wide guard because it does it does shut down Kyogre. But at the same time, it may not continue to use a wide guard because I do have ways to get around it now. Caliper comes out. That's not great. So I'm gonna go right into Zamazenta. Oh, should I go into Zamazenta? I mean, I should. That's not very effective. That's not very effective. That's not very effective. I don't have anyone to swap. Oh, I do have Pornia still in the back. I'm gonna get rid of Zamazenta. I might lose Urshifu, but it's my only option. And I'll do a little bit of damage to um, Pelipper. There's a good chance that I will knock out Zamazenta here, but it does have a plus one to defense. So there's a good chance that I won't. This combat does not get the KO. Gets really, really close though. We're going to take one, but this, this hit from Pelipper is going to be huge. Ice Beam. Freeze? Nope. Body press into... That's still a lot. Weather Ball into Kyogre does not knock it out. That's strange. Why would you ever do that? That's really, really weird. Okay, my talent's gone. Like, I'm locked into... Uh, close combat now. Yeah, we'll knock you out, and I'm gonna protect here. They can't protect uh, Zamazenta. They have to swap. I can protect, because it doesn't really affect me too much. Well, what are you gonna do? What is your option from here? Terra... Pelipper? Nope, Zama. Grass, okay. Is it enough to ignore... those combat? That's gonna be the question. You activate wide guard. Okay. Two wide guard... How? I know Tailwind was gone, but he's literally 163. I don't think Zamazenta outspeeds. Tailwind, Ice Beam, pick down Zamazenta. I don't think it's really going to do anything. Any 
Interesting. I don't know. The speed tiers for Zamazenta. Let's do the spice stats. Uh, Zamazenta is 138. He completely out of the There ain't no way. Ain't no way. Kane. Ooh. Rain stop. Okay. Question is, are they going to activate the wide guard now? Because they know I do have a single single target attack. And I do outspeed. So let's try it. Water spout's not going to do anything. I could do origin pulse, but I don't have that on my Kyogre. This is the reason why you will not have origin pulse. Um, just in case something like this doesn't work. It's just like... Um, one of you can back to it. Okay. You just protected. You shouldn't be able to do that. I'm just saying. You just protected. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's alright, though. This is a good comparison and knowing where my matchups can go. So. This team is extremely rough around the edges. Remember, I said this team. Oh. The rain is gone. Dope. Uh, like I said, this team is really, really good on paper, but in practice, it's not. It's absolutely not. We have Rillaboom. Acid Surge comes out, which isn't going to really affect Pelipper or Tornadus. Let's go ahead and protect on both. This fake out's gonna come out. Um, probably use it on tornadoes, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna protect both of our partners anyway. There's the wide guard, because it knows. Drastic glide. Because it also knows. is going to heal up quite a bit. I have Tailwind for one more turn, but I don't think it really matters. Grassic Glad's going to come out and really, really have a lot of fun with me. Pelipper is going to activate Black Guard. There's no reason why they wouldn't. There's none. That's their win condition. They pretty much got this. Tornadus can't attack, but I'm just going to click it anyway. I'm absolutely going to click it anyway, and I'm going to attack right into Pelipper. See? Yep. Like, that's their, win that's their win condition. I can't stop it. Grassy Flag goes into Kyogre. It does not live. Terra steals on him so that he does live against Woodhammer, Grassy Glides, anything that comes from um, Rillaboom. But, yeah. Nope. Okay. Not too much. Now the other alternative, like the other Pokemon I did have for Tornadoes to slot, was originally Whimsicott. And I don't think Whimsicott would have been any better here, honestly. Maybe Raging Bolt would have been uh, a lot better choice. But having Rillaboom in the back the entire time as I'm trying to chunk through this team, like it was, it was not easy. A plus one defense body press. I would love for someone to explain to me how that math works. Because I could do that exact same thing with Archelodon, but make it plus four and not get body presses that hit that hard. So I'm, I'm either missing something or something isn't clicking. It's interesting. Let's move on. Okay, we have Incineroar, Rillaboom, Whimsicott, Archelodon. 
Hey, just the guy I was just talking about. Chien Pao and Dragonite. Okay. So the reason why I'm talking about Archelodon, I might bring back Archelodon to take Raging Bolt's place. For me, Raging Bolt isn't a Pokemon that I click on very often. And because of that, I am less likely to use it, which is unfortunate. Um, but at the same time, there are options that I could use uh, Archelodon a little bit better. But this is why we do these things. This is why we test. To quote the Grinch, that's what these tests are for. Uh, we're going to bring out... You being Terra Dark ruins it. <laughs> Just ruins everything. Um, Urshifu, Roaring Moon, and we'll bring in uh, Rage and Bolt. We'll leave Kyogre alone. We don't really necessarily need Kyogre in this particular matchup, but it would have helped. They do have Rillaboom, which then we don't want to end up having what happened last time. So we do need to, oh, pardon me, pick and choose what our battles are going to be. Um, I'm already kind of thinking of like Pokemon to replace, and I don't want to use the same Pokemon multiple times, but we're going we're gonna to find uh, our... We're going to find our little stash here. We like. So we have Archelodon and Whimsicott coming out. And I'm just going to go ahead and do Bleakwind Storm in case if it does haunt. Then I'm not doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. And I'm going to go right into Archelodon with the close combat. Moonblast right into Urshifu. Ooh, you son of a... Are you serious? I mean, it was a crit. But come on. I shouldn't have done that much. Should not have done that much. There's no way. Once it got goes down, so it's a one for one. Terrible one for one. And I gave Archelodon a plus one defense. That was terrible. That was such a terrible roll. Here comes Electro Shot. Oh yeah, this is gonna Oh no, this is not. Nope. That's not gonna our herb works for that? Oh, God. Absolutely it does. Why not? It absolutely does. Uh, choice band. And a whimsy pot. Moon blast. Okay. Oh. Yay, both my Pokemon are down. That's great. Love that for me. Uh, they sent out Incineroar. Oh, this is gonna even gonna be even worse. Even worse. Let's go. Um. So I'm just kind of seeing what Whimsicott had. 252 there. The special attack 252, is that one made it super effective? It's an 87% chance to Oko. So weird. Ba bomb. Let's go ahead and Thunderclap. Anything I pick is gonna really help that much. Now we'll do that and then Terra Protect. I think Fake Out's gonna go to Raging Bolt. But I know I'm setting myself up for a lot of failure using my Terra up now. 87%. Against the Oko. Oh, good. Anyway. Fake out goes to the Roaring Moon instead, which is why we protect it so we don't have to worry about that. Dragon Pulse into our Teladon. That's still a lot of damage, and as I just karate chop my my thing, Body Press goes right into uh, my Pop Filter. I just karate chop that, but Body press goes into Roaring Moon. Okay, so we did a lot of damage before. I think doing it again would be beneficial. We can also knock off and get rid of its assault vest. Yeah, let's do that. Let's knock off. 
withdraws um, Incineroar. It's going to bring out its next Pokemon. It's going to be its fourth. And it's uh, Rillaboom. Okay. Grassy Surge comes over the field. Protect. Okay. So I doubled into that slot thinking it would be something good, but nope, it was not. Was not good. gonna attack into that slot but I'm gonna protect because I know fake out's gonna come out again with true okay how comes incineroar gonna lower down roaring moon's attack that's what their plan is right now protect Pulse. No fake out. You got high horsepower. Major Bolt hanging strong there. And I'm going to Dragon Pulse that slot. You know what? Let's activate Tailwind. Spake out. I couldn't do anything about that. Dragon Pulse. Not enough to knock out the Incineroar, but it does pop the Berry. Ah, oh, Citrus Berry. Okay. Ice Force Power. Pop. Not enough to knock him out. This is 3 hit KO. Hopefully. This up. Try this. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's terrible. Thunderclap's not going to do anything anymore. Acrobatics all the way to Archelodon. Not going to get the KO because he's got minus like a ton. Like minus two. Knock off on the Raging Bolt. Could have just went after the instant war. They guessed it. Uh, we definitely didn't do too well. I am minus two, which means I am not doing any damage. So we are out. It's 1v3. Yep, 1v3. Nope. Nope. Cannot do that. We unfortunately did not have anyone with the clear amulet, and I don't think I have anyone on my team that would, like, really need it. I mean, Urshifu might. He doesn't do anything to buff. But he might take great use of it, actually. If they can't debuff him, and by debuff, I mean lower down his special or his, his attacks. And if I give him the Covert Cloak, he's not going to be afraid of, uh, of fake outs anymore. That might be fun. We'll look into that. That might be really, really fun for Urshifu. But for now, that's the end of the video, which sucks. Let's move on. And that, Pokefans, is going to be the end of today's video. We went one and five, which is really expected. I thought it would be a little bit better, but at the same time, Everything looks great on paper, but in practice, it's not as great as you thought it would be. It's like when you make something 
out of nothing. It's like uh, engineers, right? They get an idea, they build it out, but it looks great on paper. But as soon as they print off all the parts that's needed to build the thing, and then people try to assemble the thing, the thing is actually harder to build than anything else. So that's what it kind of feels like here. I'm trying to make a sandwich and the sandwich, instead of it being like bologna, cheese and bread, I have uh, a sucker, um, some powdered sugar and mayonnaise. Don't ask me why, but that's what my sandwich is. I just need to figure out what what ingredients that I need to make it into a bologna and cheese sandwich that doesn't have powdered sugar, uh, suckers, and, may and mayo on it. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, but that's, that's what it looks like. So what we're going to do is use this team for the rest of the month. And if I get tired of it, then we'll probably do it with like a third team, but I doubt it. Uh, we'll use this team for the rest of the month, figure out its kinks, try to come up with a way to make it a little bit more cohesive. Make changes to EVs when we need to, make changes as a teammates as we need to. Right now we do see a couple of clogs and the clogs will show you. So with this particular match and this particular team, I want there to be kind of like synergy between all six members. It needs to be enough to where it would make me want to use them a little bit more forthcoming in different type of matchups. And the only matchup that we came across was actually in our favor was a matchup that wasn't cohesive at all. That tells me that my team isn't as commingling as I would like it to be. Kind of like what we had here with Roaring Moon being a part of the Groudon team. Roaring Moon couldn't activate its ability, so acrobatics was really, really off and couldn't activate it. I think that's what it feels like for this particular team now. Chi Yu being on a rain team seems a little off-putting. Chi Yu is probably the first one that I'm probably going to X out which means that we'll probably see uh, another Pokemon either like Fluttermane or even Golden Go take its place. But whether or not that it may or may not, I don't know. It needs to have some sort of purpose. Fluttermane being like one of the faster Pokemon in you know, Groudon's team worked really, really, really well, but because it was in Sun, it didn't have like the helping hand boost like I wanted it to have, but it had a purpose. It had reason. To be there this one doesn't seem to have those reasons and i need to figure out what the reasons are my loading up above so i can kind of move pokemon up and down as i choose so uh roaring moon while very fast gets the booster energy but then after that he kind of falls very very short against a lot of matchups he's not going to do well against uh ice rider he's not going to do against chien pao he's not going to be able to really handle zamazenta and those three are a lot of like Pokemon that we see quite often, especially after the Stockholm regionals. Chien Pao won a regional. That's great. That's awesome. And then there's Zamazenta, who is getting a huge bounce of popularity right now. So Roaring Moon may not be the best Pokemon to have because in some of these fights, Roaring Moon didn't do anything. And if they're not going to do anything, it's kind of hard to keep them in the team. But we can say that with a lot of Pokemon. Kyogre hardly did anything. But I can't blame them because I haven't played with them, so I'm still trying to learn how to use this Pokemon. Same thing with Chi Yu. I haven't really used this Pokemon, but for some reason their Terra type is still dark and not ghost. So that's interesting. Uh, Tornadus is a Pokemon I've used quite often. He is set to where that he is set. We can change his moves around, but I don't think we're going to be making any changes to Tornadus anytime soon. Uh, Raging Bolt, a Pokemon that I'm should effectively reset and rebuild from the ground up because now we have new pokemon that we have to worry about not just necessarily like landris but we could also be looking at landris as an option we do have quite a bit of people that we can select to be on our team now we just need to figure out what is synergistic with this team for uh, rain specifically pokemon that do really well in rain would be ones that we want to use our Celadon is being one of them electro shot would be one of the pokemon or one of the moves that we could use effectively to do a ton now it does have body press so it can do as much damage as anyone else does but is it going to be the best probably not Body press is something that I'm still going to look upon and try to see if I can figure out what I need to do to make that. Because Zamazenta at plus one defense is looking to do like half, if not 70% of damage. 
And I don't know if that's the maximum or the bare minimum. That's one plus one. Our Chalodon can have plus four. Plus four comes from either Whimsicott or Mouse Hold. And that is with the beat up combo. If it's with beat up, I do have ways of getting our Chalodon plus four to make Body Press like the biggest hail maker ever. Make it a different terror type so it's not dragon. That way we can just kind of withstand a lot of moves that are gonna come our way. However, there's a caveat to that. Until I understand how body press works effectively to where I can do a little bit a little bit more damage, I'm probably less likely to use our Chalodon. But these are the three that I'm currently looking at to replace for the team effectively, almost immediately, just because of the fact that I didn't click Chiyu, does not work well with Kyogre at all. And even with Scarf, I was still not doing as much damage as I possibly could, which is incredibly weird because you know, I'm 252 in special attack and speed. I should be doing quite a bit, even with Scarf. I wasn't. And that raises a, a, a lot of questions. I should have knocked out Fluttermate. I will need to calc to see what is causing the, this Pokemon Chiyu that was Terra Dark Dark Pulse into Fluttermane to not be able to knock it out. It was neutral. Fluttermane's Ghost Fairy. So obviously it would have been a neutral hit but it should have been a one hit KO regardless, but it wasn't. I'm left asking a lot of questions. For now, we do identify a lot of clunkiness within our team. Raging Bolt doesn't seem to be doing a lot currently on our squad, which is why I'm gonna ask you guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys think that we should do with the team? And kind of share me your thoughts. All right. I'm not gonna replace them immediately. We're gonna give them the rest of this week. So they're gonna be on the team for at least a couple of more days before we start making some major changes. Right now, we just need to see like visually of how the team works, but we've identified three cloggers. So these three are definitely on my, on my radar. And these three are not so on it, but we could look at other ways to maybe utilizing them better. Um, obviously choice fan Urshifu is not like the best. I just clicked it because I didn't want to have Scarf on him. Um, but yeah, but otherwise that would be Scarf or just Mystic Water or something else completely. Uh, with that being said, that is going to be the end of today's video. And if you like it, please give a like on the video. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Uh, again, leave a comment down below what you guys thought of today's team or the video as a whole. I do reply to any and all comments left behind. Uh, if you are a brand new viewer, please consider watching a little bit more of the series. I have 14 seasons that you can watch in the playlist at the end of uh, everything up to this point. So you guys want to watch more? There's an entire playlist. I am a brand new VGC player, so I am constantly learning and I'm going to do my best to not only teach myself, but to kind of show you guys my progress of how I would build VGC teams. I do plan on competing quite a bit in 2025. Hopefully if everything works out, I do have plans for the rest of 2024 to be a little bit more debt free. So we're going to see what happens, which is why I'm working a lot. Put myself on the list that, hey, accept any and all over time that we need to. That's not mandatory and that's what's happening. So my job likes it and uh, so do I. Checks are great. Um, if you're a returning viewer though, why not just uh, help me out by hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell on the right and select it to all. I do plan on releasing for the rest of the month, so you should have a video every single day. However, keep in mind that work stuff does come first, and I will not be posting anything on Saturday, and the rental code team for Saturday has been moved to Sunday. So we will not see the Kyogre team on Sunday. We will come back to them Monday the following day. That's it. That's all that I've got. Um, again, like, comment, and subscribe. All three of those should have lit up on the screen. And if they did, awesome. If they didn't, YouTube like. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, take care. Peace.